If you want to be more interesting and memorable with your friends or new people you meet, you need to follow a few simple rules that go with the human nature, not against it. These rules are simple, yes, but far from easy. They are simple enough so that everyone can do and they will work 100% of the time, but they require time and effort. Because if you want to become more interesting, you need to change something fundamental about the things you already do. Before we start, we need to be on the same page and define what interesting actually means. It can represent different things to different people, however, according to the Oxford Dictionary, it means arousing curiosity or interest, holding or catching the attention. Once we agree on the definition that to be interesting is to catch someone's attention and interest, be memorable and make them want to spend more time with you in the future, we can move on to the science and actual ways we can do it. We need to briefly explain the science part and why we find things interesting and also how our brain is wired up to ignore things that are not interesting. Our brain is interested in new things. Studies around the brain's reaction to novelty have suggested increased dopamine levels in the context of novelty. The reward pathways evolved to detect things that are novel to us and when we first encounter something new, we feel curious about it, it catches our attention. And if we go back to the Oxford definition of interesting, it is exactly that. Arousing curiosity and catching the attention. But the other side of the coin is that our brain, apart from being fascinated by new things, it actually tries to ignore objects and activities that are not interesting. In the early days, the computational power of the brain was so expensive that it tried to reduce the work it needed to do. Everything that wasn't a threat or a possible reward was slowly ignored. Things that weren't new, or so to say interesting, slowly faded away from our perception. And as we evolved with the same brain, unfortunately that is also true today. Things or even people that are not interesting are going to be perceived as less important than memorable. This is sad, but it's the harsh reality that we live in. So what can you do to fix this? Well, with the understanding of the human brain and its relation to novelty, there are two problems that arise in modern society that are making you less interesting. The first is people trying too hard to blend in. This is a rational fear that dates back when we lived in tribes. Back then, you had to blend in, because if you said something out of line or did something the majority of the tribe didn't like, you were risking the possibility of being banished, and that spelled certain death. And today, people listen to the same popular music, watch the same movies, go to the same clubs, share the same opinions, agree when everyone agrees, and they disagree when everyone disagrees. When they talk, they are scared to say something out of line to avoid being judged or perceived as weird, and answers like, well, not much, same old, same old, become their norm. Slowly, they become invisible to the brain, slowly they actually succeed in their goal, they blend in, become dull and uninteresting. The first tip to be more interesting is to fight the urge to blend in. You need to say what you think, share your opinions, stop caring what other people think of you and project yourself forward. Because literally, there is nobody like you alive or dead in the entire human history. Being yourself and embracing your uniqueness while having the courage to speak your being forward will make you interesting by default. Unfortunately, we try so hard to be like others that we stop being ourselves. The second problem lies in your comfort zone. It would be a lie to say that today we don't live in the most comfortable conditions known to mankind. Food is readily available, screen entertainment is a given, and a warm bed and a roof over your head is non-negotiable. It's so easy to sit, relax and enjoy your comfort zone. But it would also be a lie to say that comfortable is good for you, as comfort can become a poisonous habit. You cannot be interesting if you don't try new things and expand your horizons. There is no easy hack or 5 easy things you can say to be more interesting. If you want to be more interesting, you have to become more interesting. You have to become the person that explores new possibilities, the person that hikes, reads books from hundreds of years ago, learns how to draw, goes scuba dive, writes songs, learns how to code, tries ice skating, develops new hobbies, interest in the arts, history, sciences and etc. It's hard, but it will undoubtedly benefit you in many dimensions. You'll start to grow and as you try new things, you'll gather wisdom and stories to tell others and in the process, become the most interesting and memorable person you know. 
These two tips, trying not to blend in so you don't become invisible to the brain and expanding your comfort zone constantly to experience life on various levels, will guaranteed make you the most interesting person in the room. Also, things like confidence, social skills, humor can help, but doing these two things alone will give you 80% of the results. And deep down inside, maybe your goal isn't to be more interesting to others, but more interesting to yourself first.